Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing The Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel. This is a classic song that I have loved since I was a little kid. The recording is guitar driven, but it translates really well to a piano accompaniment that is not too tricky to play. Let's jump in. So first off, I wanna mention that the official recording sounds closest to the key of B major though the actual guitar part is played in the key of C major, which is confirmed by any live performances you can find. I don't know if Paul Simon tuned his guitar lower for the studio recording or if it's a result of tape speed, but I decided it would be best to do this in the key of C. That way, if you play along with any guitar players, it'll match, and plus it's a lot easier to learn in C. Also, before we really dig in, I recommend getting the chords and lyrics chart. I put a link down in the description. That'll help you follow along and see where the chords and the words line up with each other. And before we start playing those chords and singing and get into the meat of the song, the song actually starts with this really cool, fast guitar riff that I will say it's totally optional, but it's not as hard as it might sound. It sounds like this. and then the chords start there. So this is just a sequence of notes. They're all played with the same rhythm, just kind of a steady stream of notes. First, we've got G, E, D, E, D, B flat. You can kind of get your hand in that position with your thumb on B flat and get all of that in a row. G, E, D, E, D, B flat. Now, after you do that once, we're gonna move our hand down here um, and with our pinky on E, stretch with the thumb to G, and we have this pattern. It's a three note pattern that's gonna happen twice. E, D, G, and again, E, D, G. So, so far we've got G, E, D, E, D, B flat, E, D, G, E, D, G. There's only four more notes, and you can pretty much keep your hand where it is. It's just C, B flat, G, C, again, C, B flat, G, C. So whole thing again, sort of medium slow here. G, E, D, E, D, B flat, E, D, G, E, D, G, C, B flat, G, C, and then the song kicks in. Once you get the hang of that, you can speed it up, and I would add that sustain pedal to kind of make everything ring together and sound really cool. It's gonna sound like. And then we get into the music. But again, that is totally optional. You could just start with the chords. Um, so speaking of the chords, let's get into that, and I'm gonna show you the main rhythmic pattern that you're gonna be playing throughout the entire song. So the intro before the singing starts is just one measure of C major. Um, and speaking of measures, we're in 4-4 four, four time, so each measure gets four counts. We're thinking one, two, three, four. The notes of this C major chord is just gonna be a regular root position C major chord, C, E, G with the right hand. And then in the left hand, we're gonna be playing both the root, the C, and the fifth, the G with the thumb. So those are the notes you're gonna need. Now let's look at the left hand pattern first. We're gonna be going back and forth between the C and the G, and we're gonna alternate and play on each of just the main counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna need to think in eighth notes, so dividing the beat in half, not just one, two, three, four, but one and two and three and four and because we're gonna start putting those C major chords just all blocked out on each one of those ands, each of those upbeats in between the count. So it's gonna be one and two and three, just kind of back and forth. So left hand's going back and forth like that and then you're going back and forth between the hands. So take it slow and spend some extra time here if you find this tricky because you want to get this in your muscle memory because you're just going to be using this for the whole song and we're going to start changing the chords that you do it on. Once you're comfortable with that, we can head into the first verse. And here is the chord progression for the first verse. We'll just kind of take it one line at a time. First line, it starts with another measure of C. One, two, three, four. Now this next measure is a little more complicated. You can see we've got the C, 
Now, C over B, that's gonna be, you're still doing that C chord in your right, and the bass note is gonna be B. It's just kind of like a quick walk down on the way to this A minor. Um, and we don't need to worry about doing a fifth on that because it just happened so quick that you only hit the bass note once before getting to the A minor. Now, the A minor chord is gonna look like this. So, notice we're gonna keep doing fifths in the left hand, A and E. And the right hand is gonna be C, E, and A. So same notes as the C major chord, except for the top note stepped up to an A. It's an inversion on an A minor chord. And I like using my first, second, and fifth finger there because it fits the shape nicely. Although if your third finger is already on the E from the C, you might like to just do that. You can kind of feel that out. And that little dash after the A minor is meant to just show you that there's a second count of the A minor. So the timing here on the first beat is the C. And then the second beat is the C over B. And then the third and fourth beats are the A minor. So it's one and two and three and four and. So because the C and the C over B in that measure only last one count, we don't have time to do the fifth thing. So the first two measures here are one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Um, let's keep going. Uh, getting to this G chord is really easy. Uh, the, the entire shape you're doing here for the A minor just steps down a, a step. So for the G, it's G and D, and then B, D, G. Uh, and you're on that for a measure. And that's gonna be squandered my resistance. Now we're on G again for another measure. Left hand's gonna keep going back and forth between those G fifths, but we're gonna turn the right hand into implying a G seven chord. So all we gotta do there is instead of doing the G on top, we're gonna do an F. So we got uh, B, D, and F. Um, for a pocket full of mumbles, such are, and then we would be getting to the next line. I'm just gonna sing through that line one more time and then we'll kind of keep cruising through. So, I am just a poor boy, though my story's seldom told. I have squandered my resistance for a pocket full of mumbles, such are promises. So now we're in the second line. First two measures here are the same. All lies in jest still a So now we're in this next measure. It still goes to G after that A minor, but this time we've got two chords crammed into the same measure. So first half of the measure, so first two counts are that G chord. One, two, and then for beats three and four, we're gonna step down to an F. So this is the first time the F chord has appeared, but it's just literally the same shape again, but we just step it down here. F, C, a, C, F. So taking it from the second measure on that second line. All lies in jest, still a man hears what he wants to hear. Now this next line gets a little bit tricky. There are no new chords here. It's all just the same chords that we've been using so far, but timing wise, it's a little bit strange. So we've been on that F for two counts at the end of the second line. We're starting a new measure here with two more counts of F, back to C for two counts, then G for four counts, and then we have this measure of two four time on this G7, um, so it just lasts two counts. One, two, and then we land on C for two measures. So I think probably the best way to feel this out is just kind of having your ear wrapped around the melody of the song and how it all goes together, but take some time counting it out as well. I'm gonna play from that same spot in the second line again. All lies and jest, still a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, one, two, C, two, three. And then we just have two measures of that as we kind of get ready for the second verse. 
And for all the verses, these first two lines are the same, but there's a couple different variations on what happens in the third line. Um, so we just learned this first variation that the first verse uses. Here's how it's going to look for the second verse. So this one never goes to the G7. We don't need to worry about counting a measure of 2-4 time, and it steps down to an F kind of an extra time before going back to C. I'm going to count it out again, starting from the middle measure of the second line. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And this time it only hangs out on C for one measure there because we're going to go to the chorus. Lie, lie, lie. One more time, I'm gonna play it from the same place and sing it this time. Laying low, seeking out the poor quarters where the ragged people go, looking for the places only they would know. Okay, let's get those uh, chorus chords up on the screen here. So, um, mostly chords we've already used. Uh, the only new one we need is the E minor seven. Now, for the E minor seven, we're going to use, um, well, E and B, so taking the left hand a little lower than it's gone for these E fifths, but the right hand's going to do the same thing it has done for the, the G chord, so B, D, and uh, G there, and notice that we're kind of going back and forth between the A minor shape and that E minor 7, so really the right hand just has to hop the same shape down one while the left hand does kind of a bigger jump down there. Um, and we're just going to use that same rhythmic pattern we've been talking about. Lie, la, lie, lie, la, 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 now, verse three is a lot like the first verse. So it's this chord progression here uh, with the measure of two, four time when it goes to the G7. The only difference is this time it only stays on C for one measure before the next section starts. I'll take it from that middle measure of the second line again, and I'm going to play the whole thing at the end. So I'm just playing you little snippets to show you what's different in the sections, but I will do a full cover at the end so you can see how it all goes together. I do declare there were times when I was so lonesome I took some comfort there. La 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 three. Four, then one, two, C, two, three, four. And then right there, we do end up playing another measure of C, uh, but that is the next section starting. And that's the interlude section. Um, that's where there's the piccolo trumpet solo. Um, so I'm just going to play through the chord progression without a trumpet. Uh, but if you got a trumpet player or lead guitar player or something to fill the space, that'd be cool. But that interlude section is the exact same as the second verse, the one that doesn't have the 2-4 measure and goes down to the F again. Um, that's the more common um, one in this song. The one final kind of new thing to talk about is verse 4. Verse 4 is an outlier. Here's the chords for that because it goes to that E minor 7 in the middle. You know, same one we were doing in the chorus. Um, and then it only has just the first line with the C, C over B, A minor walk down. Um, and it does end with the two counts of G7 in that last line before getting to C. Um, I'll just sing it through. I think you'll see what I mean about this verse. Then I'm laying out my winter clothes and wishing I was gone going home Where the New York City winters aren't bleeding me Bleeding me Then you're on that for two measures, and then we get to the final verse. In the clearing stands a boxer and a... And so this last verse is the same as the second verse and the same one we did for the interlude as well. Of course, just the words are different. After that final verse, we have the final chorus. Now, this chorus is 
just like the other ones, except it repeats around multiple times. So here's the um, chord progression for that. So notice we don't have it end with two measures of C this time. It gets to the G and then it just loops around. So lie, lie, lie. Back to A minor, back to the beginning of the line. On the official recording, it goes around, I think, eight times. It takes a while, and different string instruments and a bass harmonica and all this stuff comes in and builds. I think for my solo piano version, I'm just going to go four times, keep it a little bit shorter. Um, for the second half, to make it a little bit more dramatic, so I'll do two repetitions like that. And maybe just for the third and fourth repetition, I'll do octaves on the first hit of A. So, li la la, just to give it more power. Li la la, li la la, li la la, la. Um, yeah. So after that, uh, and you can pick however many times you want to go around. You can go around 30 times uh, if that's what you want. Then um, the outro is going to be the same as that second verse, interlude, and fifth verse. So here's the chords for that. Again, I'm going to play from the middle of the second line. So when you get to that final measure of C, you can kind of play the rhythm out on it and then just kind of end on just voicing that full C chord all at once. Let it ring out a little bit and the song is over. All right. Thank you for sticking with me. I am now going to do a full cover of the song so you can see how all these different sections we've been talking about fit together in the whole thing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one. Also have a look around the channel. You might find some other songs you would like to learn. In the meantime, here is my version of The Boxer. I am just a poor boy, though my story's seldom told. I have squandered my resistance for a pocket full of mumbles, such are promises. All lies and jest, still a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy in the company of strangers in the quiet of the railway station running scared. Laying low, seeking out the poorer quarters where the ragged people go, looking for the places only they would know. Lie, lie, lie. Lila 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 Asking only workmen's wages I come looking for a job but I get no offers Just to come on from the whores on 7th Avenue I do declare there were times when I was so lonesome I took some comfort there La 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 la
Then I'm laying out my winter clothes and wishing I was gone, going home. Where the New York City winters aren't bleeding me, leading me. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his trade And he carries the reminders of every glove that laid him down Or cut him till he cried out in his anger and his shame I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fighter still remains Lila, Lila, Lila.